Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be simulating a class C amplifier circuit using the KiCad tool. For more such videos, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Double click on the class C amplifier KiCad schematic file and this particular schematic window appears. Now click on add a symbol and from this particular filter, we have to type 2N3904, which is a BJD transistor. So click on this particular BJD transistor and place this particular BJD transistor in the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to add other components such as a resistor and the capacitor. So click on the schematic window and now type P spice. Now from this particular list, select a inductor and place this particular inductor on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Similarly, click on the schematic window and now from the P spice library, we will select the capacitor and place this particular capacitor on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Now to move this particular symbol, so you can move uh, by clicking on that particular symbol and dragging it. Now we have to add other elements. So again type P spice and select the voltage source. Place this particular voltage source in the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to add the ground. So click on add power port and search for ground and place this particular ground connection on the or near the voltage source. Now we have to place a global label. So click on add label and place the label VCC on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Now click on add a wire and connect the VCC to terminal 1 of the voltage source and the terminal 2 of the voltage source to the ground as shown in this particular tutorial. Next we have to define the value for this particular voltage source. So right click on that and click on properties and define this particular V reference as VCC and the value as 0. Click on spice model and define the DC as 5 volts and click OK. Now again click on add global label and type this label as VCC and place this particular global label VCC on the schematic window. Now click on buyer connect the terminal 2 of inductor to terminal 1 of capacitor and from the global label VCC to the other end of inductor and capacitor. Now right click on the properties and define the reference of inductor as L1 and define the value of inductor as 2 milli Henry and right click on the capacitor and define the reference as C1 and define the value as 0 0.02 microfarad. Now click on add wire and connect the terminal 3 of transistor to the inductor L1 and capacitor C1. Now click on add symbol and in the filter type P spice and select the resistor. Place this particular resistor on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to place an, an another resistor 
and the capacitor so click on schematic and select the resistor place this particular resistor in the schematic window now right click on this resistor click on properties define the reference as r1 and define the value as 10 now right click on the resistor and define the reference as r2 and define the value as 10 kilo ohm now click on add symbol and select the capacitor place this particular capacitor in order to rotate use r on the keyboard now place this particular capacitor on the schematic window right click on that click on properties and define the reference as c2 and define the value as 0 0.01 Farad. Now again click on add symbol and select the resistor. Place this particular resistor on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Right click on properties, define the reference as R3 and define the value as 10 kilo ohm. Similarly, Again, place a capacitor and in order to rotate, use R on the keyboard and place this particular capacitor. Right click on the capacitor, define the reference as C3 and define the value as 0 0.1 microfarad. Now, click on add a wire, connect the terminal 1 of the transistor to resistor R1 and the terminal 1 of capacitor C2 to the transistor. From C2 to the resistor R2 and from R2 to the resistor R1 and from resistor R3 connect this to resistor R1 and from the terminal 2 of transistor to the terminal 2 of capacitor C3 and from resistor R3 to the capacitor C3 and the transistor. Now click on add symbol and we have to place a voltage source. So click on voltage source and place this particular voltage source on the schematic window. Now right click on this particular voltage source and click on property define the reference as v in and define the value as zero and we have to select either the sinusoidal so select the sinusoidal define the dc offset as zero define the amplitude as 1.25 volts and define the frequency as 15 kilohertz and click OK. Next, click on add wire and connect the terminal 1 of the voltage source to the terminal 1 of capacitor C3 and terminal 2 of the voltage source to the resistor R3. Next, click on add port and place the ground connection across the circuit and connect this ground connection to the circuit as shown in this particular tutorial. Now right click on the transistor, define the reference as Q1 and click on spice model. So now we have to select the appropriate model. If we don't define this particular model, uh, when we do the simulation, we would not get any of the output. So select the PJT model and select the model as 2N3904 and alternate node sequence as 3 to 1. Must make a small correction. So the add wire which is connected from the capacitor C2 uh, must, be capa must be connected to the uh, terminal 3 of the transistor not the terminal 1. 
so make this particular correction and save this particular circuit and now we have to define the transient analysis so uh, click on place and click on add text now here we have to define dot tran uh, 0 0.5 milli and uh, 1 milli and then click ok and place this particular uh, spice analysis on the schematic window ok so save this now now click on inspect click on simulator and run this particular simulation now click on probe place the probe across the voltage source V in and you can see the input waveform and click on probe and place the probe across the capacitor and the resistor R2 and you can see the output waveform of the class C amplifier thank you for watching this tutorial I hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below